Hello, this is Daryl. And I'm Caitlin. We're talking new comics here at Big Bang Toys, Comics, and Games in Owensboro, KY. Caitlin, what are some cool picks you got for this week? Well, this week, my box isn't super full, but I've got Deadpool versus Thanos number one, which I'm super excited about. I Looks mean, really good. You can always have another Deadpool miniseries, of course. Um, I love how he's running away from Thanos. This is just a joke, Marvel. I don't really want to fight him. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. And then I've also got uh, Eight House number three. It's now called Eight House Kind. I don't know. It's a cool story. I just really, really enjoy it. And the art style is amazing. Um, and then, last but certainly not least, the best thing in the whole world. I've been so excited about this book for so long. Um, it's gone through a name change. You might know it as The Third Witch. I probably talked to a lot of people about it. But it's called Toil and Trouble now. Um, it's about the three witches from Macbeth. Uh, Marguerite Scott, the woman who's writing it, she's like really big on research, so most of the artwork is going to be very historically accurate. And I, I went to school for theater, and I love, and I'm just super excited about having a book that mixes that with comic books, which is now my new favorite thing. So that book got a lot of buzz, by the way. Yeah, a lot of I'm buzz. I'm so excited. And it's only a six-part miniseries, so you should definitely pick up number one. And if you like it, you can pick up the rest, and it's not like a huge commitment. I like miniseries. But those are my three favorites. This this is my entire box this week, and I'm so excited. Now there's two other books that are one dollar books. I was gonna, you said you're gonna talk about. Yeah, we got True Believers number one, Spider Gwen and Captain Marvel, which is a great thing that Marvel's been that took off. You know, kind of like the uh, what Independence have been doing, where they're like, here, have our number one for a dollar. Both of these are only a dollar to see if you like the book. Um, both of these books are fantastic. I've read both of them. Um, Carol Danvers is Captain Marvel is great, and Gwen is Spider Gwen, Spider Woman. Sp Spider Gwen's awesome. Well, it's amazing. We call her Spider Gwen, but in the book she's Spider, spider Woman. Woman. Because so. in this universe, she's the only spider. There's no other one. It's not like she's been made because of something else. She's in this in her universe. What she is is she's Spider Gwen, or she's Spider Woman, where Peter Parker died and she lived. But yeah, so if you have ever wanted to read either of these, we now have these for number one and for a dollar, so you should definitely pick them up because they're great stories. Can't beat it. Nope. My pick of the week is Dying in the Dead from Jonathan Hickman. You might know him from a little book called Secret Wars, but tons of other independent stuff. Dying in the Dead, you like Indiana Jones, kind of meets X-Files, kind of meets, I don't know, it's just a really cool book. It's really late, but I've been waiting for number three. Check it out. Dying in the Dead, number three by Jonathan Hickman. That's all I got for independence this week, Caitlin. Oh, you should have that. Oh, it's right there. It's just <laughs> waiting to be spoken about. Anyway. But yeah, that's the, go go get Toil and Trouble. We don't have very many copies left because we've been telling everybody to read it, but you should come get a copy or come order a copy if we're out when you get here. Get Toil and Trouble. I'm so excited. She's going to go buy all the copies right now, so hurry. <laughs> hurry. Just for me! <laughs> Michael. You already, you already know who I am. Michael, top picks. Who we they got? They should know who I am by now. They should. My picks. Who's that famous? Yeah. <laughs> uh, basically, one of the only DC books coming out this week that's, that's worth picking up, really. Green Arrow. I concur. Really good book. Now, uh, from Marvel, we've got Thor's. Man, it's, I mean, Jason, Jason can't, can't do no wrong, Aaron. Oh, yeah. It's a must read. And then it's one that has just completely surprised me since Secret War started. Squadron Sinister. Really good. This Night book Hawk, has man. just been fantastic. They're like an evil Justice League kind of. Basically, you you got a traitor in the ranks. Uh, you think it's Nighthawk, but you're not sure. Yeah. So actually, there's really more good. than one if you want to get real about it. Yeah, it's like everybody who's kind of against it, backstabbing and. I mean, you can't trust anybody in the squadron. You like backstabbing. Read Squadron Sinister. <laughs> no. It's really good. Read, it, pretty much any Secret Wars is awesome. Hell Hydra number two, Future Imperfect number five, House of M number two. I mean, you name it. Age of Apocalypse number two, Deadpool vs. Thanos, which Marvel Caitlin Zombies just talked about. Out, like, Age of Ultron vs. Age, Age, Age of Ultron So there's a lot of stuff. Uh, one thing, one of them I want to mention is Spider Island, which basically is kind of I Am Legend meets Spider Man. Really cool. It's where Peter Parker is dead, but uh, Agent Venom, Flash Thompson, takes over and leads a revolution against the Spider Queen. It is Actually, really good. it's really good. It's got cool it backup is. stories featuring Spider Girl slash Spider Woman. Yeah. Uh, See, I never read the original Spider Island story, but this has been really good. You also have the finale of Mark Wade and Chris Somney's Daredevil. 
uh, Man Without Fear. This is the last issue. Really excited about that one. Uh, looking forward to Charles Soule's run. But anyway, it's the last issue. Big things. Check it out. Also, my pick of the week, Mockingbird, number one, celebrating the 50th anniversary of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's her number one debuting new character, the Red Widow. Who's the Red Widow and how is she tied to the Black Widow? You have to read to find out, but I guarantee it's going to be a big character. And also, if you want the cool action figure Phil Coulson variant, they have these type of variants all month long. Only here at Big Bang. No, they're at other stores too, but Big Bang's the only one that matters. Right, Michael? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. There we go. But anyway, that, those are my picks for the week. Actually, now that I've thought about it. Jeff Lemire's Platona. Jeff Lemire. I mean... Jeff Lemire. Jeff Lemire. So I'm definitely picking this up. Stand by me, meet superheroes. Jeff, Jeff Lemire just makes it. It's a must buy for me. He makes it so Lemire. <laughs> anyway, I'm Daryl. I'm Michael. This is Big Bang Toys, Comics, and Games. We got him. Bye, BigBang.com.